Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to learn the bones of your body. You'll have to learn your bones in classes like anatomy and physiology, biology, and other health science classes. And when you're born you have 270 bones, but by the time you're an adult most of those bones will have fused together, leaving you with only 206 bones. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to go over from head to toe all the major bones, and what I would recommend is that you print out a diagram, we'll try to have one on our website, and also practice some quizzes online, and just keep filling out that diagram over and over until you get these bones. And I'll try to give you little ways to remember these as I go along, and then I'll cover those, and then in future videos, I'll go through and we'll get a little more specific about some of these bones in your face and in your hand and so forth, because each of those have their own little section, their own little names. But for this video, we'll just give a quick overview. And I have my good friend here, Skinny Bones Jones. He's gonna help me out. He is so skinny, he has to run around the shower just to get wet. But he's a great guy to talk to, and he has a really open mind. So he's gonna help us out, so let's get started. All right, first up we have the skull. And the top part of the skull here is called your cranium. And the easy way to remember that is that your cranium sounds like brain, cranium, brainium. And that's how you can remember that. There's also a board game called Cranium where you have to use your brain. So that's how you remember that. Next, you have your jawbone. This is called your mandible. And the way to remember that is to say, man, I talk a lot. Or you can remember that masticate, which is chewing, mm, 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 mm. you use your mandible to masticate. So that's the way to remember that. You also have three bones in your ears, and those are called the hammer, anvil, and stirrup. That's the sort of slang term for them. Their official name is the incus, malleus, and stapes. So that's your ear bones. We won't get into that in this video. I'll, I'll touch on that when we talk about the cranial bones. Okay, now let's keep moving forward. Okay, next up we have right at the top right here, this is called your clavicle bone, and that's your collarbone. And the best way to remember that is just your clavicle, collar, it sounds the same, both start with C, so when you're going to pop your collar on your clavicle, okay? Next you have your sternum. That is the center bone right there on your chest that connects all your ribs. And the way to remember that your sternum is that it's shaped exactly like a necktie. So the necktie area or the necktie looking bone is the center of your chest, the sternum. So center, sternum, necktie looking bone is a way to remember that. Your sternum is divided into three sections, by the way. The top part's called the manubrium, the center part's called the body, and then this little tip's called the xiphoid process. And so you usually don't have to know all three parts for just the basic bone overview, but that's the sternum. Next, you have your ribs, of course, and we all know what the ribs are, so we won't go into that for this video. Now let's turn our little volunteer Skinny Bones Jones around here. These two bones on the back, these are called the scapula. Those are your little shoulder blade bones. And the way to remember that is that scap kind of sounds like back. So scapula back, scap back. That's how you remember those. You also have coming down from your skull here, your vertebrae. And your vertebrae is broken into three major sections. At the very top, these bones up here, these are called your cervical vertebrae. Then in the middle, you have your thoracic vertebrae. And just remember, your chest area is called your thorax. So that's the thoracic vertebrae area. And then in the very lower part, you have your lumbar vertebrae. And the way to remember that is if you ever see an advertisement for like a couch or a chair or something, it'll say, has excellent lumbar support. Well, that's because that area in your spine kind of curves out and you need something there to kind of cushion and support that. So that's the lumbar area of your vertebrae. Then at the very bottom down here, you have your sacrum. And the way to remember this bottom area is that the sacrum is kind of a sacred area because it's your backside area. And so that's where that's located. And then at the very bottom, you have your coccyx bone. And that is your tailbone down there. So the very last bone down there is your coccyx bone. Then you have your sacrum and then your lumbar part of your vertebrae, thoracic. And then at the very top, your cervical, right where the clavicle is located. Okay, now let's talk about these arm bones. The very top of your bone of your arm is your humerus. That's this really long um, sort of skinny bone. And the way to remember that is that if you ever hit this bone, and I have, it is anything but funny, anything but humerus. So that's your humerus bone. It's kind of a funny named bone. Then for these two bones on your arm, at the lower part of your arm, you have here your radius, that's the top bone, 
and I'll show you on mine, your radius bone and your ulna. And the way you can remember between those two is that your ulna, when you hold your thumb up in the air like this, your ulna is under. So ulna, under, and then the top, the radius. And the radius, when you throw a ball, for example, it kind of makes a radius. So that's how you can remember that that's that part of your arm. All right, now we have the hand bones. And in your hand bones, you have a lot of different bones. We'll go over those in a different video. But these, this collection of small bones right in this area, right at the bottom right here, those are called your carpals. And the way you can remember that is that you use your carpals to drive a car. So your carpals are for driving a car. Next, you have these skinny bones coming out from those. And those are your metacarpals. And that prefix meta just means to extend out from or to come out from. So you have your carpals and your metacarpals. And then for the fingers, you have, those are all called your phalanges. So your fingers, fingers and phalanges sound the same. That's how you can remember those. Okay, next we have the pelvis bone and the pelvic girdle. And the way you can remember that this is your pelvis is that it's just simply your hip bone. And Elvis Presley used to shake his hips pelvis and elvis sound the same so you can say ain't no more hound dog yeah and back in the day they would not even film elvis presley from the waist down because he would shake his hips and they thought that was provocative things have changed quite a bit since then as you can tell but uh this is your pelvis so just remember pelvis elvis next this very top bone of your leg this is called your femur bone and it's a really long bone just like the top of your arm was that long humerus bone this is your femur bone and the way you can remember the femur bone is when a female wears a dress it's probably going to cover most of her femur bone so that's how you can remember that okay now down here we have the patella bone that comes right out from the femur that's your little kneecap bone and then we have these two bones of the lower leg now the way that you can remember this, this one right here is called the tibia and that is the really long bone. And this little smaller one off to the side here is called your fibula. So you have your tibia and your fibula. And the way I would remember the difference between these bones is that you tell a little fib. That's what you'll do. That's what people will do sometimes, right? They'll tell a little fib. So the fibia is smaller than the big tibia because you, you tell a little fib. Now for your foot bone here, just like the hand bones, these are called your tarsals. Remember the hand bones were called your carpals and your metacarpals? Well, these are called your tarsals and your metatarsals. And the way to remember this is your tarsals are located where your toes are. So tarsals are where your toes are. And again, the tarsal part is the small collection of bones and then the metatarsals are the longer bones that come out. And then your little toes here, those are called your phalanges, just like your fingers are called your phalanges. So fingers and toes are phalanges. Okay, so that's how you can remember the bones of the body. And that's just a brief overview. And again, we'll make some additional videos and talk about some of these individual bones and give you some facts about those. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.